Hi everyone, Lou Maid Fernini, ACES Home Expert, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about reciprocating saws. Now, a reciprocating saw is essentially a long barreled saw like this with sort of a pistol grip on the end. And as you can see, there's a blade that operates and goes back and forth, back and forth. So a lot like a hand saw, you would work back and forth, but this one does all the work through an electric motor. Now you have a couple of choices uh, when it comes to how you use these. This particular one by Makita is a corded version. If you're gonna be working all day long, doing a lot of demo work, then the corded version is what you're looking for. This is a DeWalt and it's a cordless version. Now there's many different manufacturers when it comes to reciprocating saws. Milwaukee, Craftsman, uh, you name it, almost all the major tool manufacturers make one and kind of the vernacular, it's known as a Sawzall, which is a Milwaukee product. They're really kind of the innovator in this whole thing. Now, this is not a, uh, a trim tool. This is really more of a demolition tool for large cutting. You would use it for doing kind of demo work if you were remodeling, cutting out studs. If you were gonna cut a skylight into a roof, you may use a uh, reciprocating saw like this. What's important to note is that the saw is only as good as the blade selection. Now, within this, you can use this to cut wood, metal, plastic, um, any kind of material where you need to do a bunch of cutting and the different types of blades that are available is what makes the saw very effective. Now what's happened in the advent of a lot of these tools is it used to be that you had to use an Allen wrench to change and put the blades in. Now they've got kind of quick releases. Now in this cordless one I'm going to remove the battery so there's no power to it whatsoever and you'll see on this DeWalt version this little button flips up and the blade comes out. Blades with most reciprocating saws are universal. That design that you see that gets inserted into the tool is universal for almost all reciprocating saws. And so with this lifted up, you place this inside the shaft right here to click in, and you see it holds it nice and tight. Then once you do that, you can replace the battery to make sure that this tool is ready to go. Now these cordless tools, remember when it comes to cordless tools, the voltage is what gives uh, meaning to how much power it has. This is a 20 volt, which is a really nice um, universal size, and you can do a fair amount of cutting uh, with this cordless uh, unit. Now, I'm talking about if you had to go in and do a quick cut and maybe cut a hole, one hole, you'd probably extinguish the battery, and you'd have to have a second battery to keep going. But as I mentioned, when it comes to doing a bunch of cutting, you want to have an electric one, one that's corded like this. Always important to wear glasses. I'm wearing my glasses now, but safety glasses are key. Whenever you're doing any kind of cutting with a saw, what you're taking off, you want to be able to allow to fall. If you try cutting something like this and this is supported, you're going to actually pinch this and it's going to cause it to vibrate like crazy. This is called the fence. Now this fence is what you would put against the material that you're cutting. It's flexible. On this particular unit, it has the ability just by a, a button that you can lengthen or shorten the fence, which is kind of a neat feature on this Makita. Not all of them have that. Some you need to use an Allen wrench on the bottom, but this is really a nice feature. Then when you go to cut it, you place that fence against what you're cutting, putting pressure on there so you're holding it because when you put this on there, this is going to go back and forth and you want to be able to hold it in place. Now I'm just going to put that fence down there and I'm going to take the blade off when I start. Look at that. Cuts like butter. So if there's other tools that you would like us to feature, just put a note at the bottom of this video. And remember, Ace is the helpful place.